Good day. My name is Jonathan Sumption. I used to be a judge of the Supreme Court, which is the nearest thing that the UK has to a constitutional court. But what I want to discuss with you today is the sort of questions that judges hardly ever ask themselves. What is a democracy? Why should we believe in it? How can we make it work or work better? Now, these are large questions and I cannot claim to do more than suggest a few lines of thought. Democracy is a method of collective decision making. It is not a set of values. It won't tell you what the answer is, but it might tell you how to find out the answer or at least how to find out an answer that deserves to be accepted as the decision of our whole community. Individually, none of us counts for very much. We are just single grains of sand in a population of over 60 million. The case for democracy is essentially based on our moral and political equality. It gives each of us a tiny but equal voice in the choice of a government and to some extent of the policies for that government to adopt. The great problem about democracies is that they can so easily become the means by which majorities ride roughshod over the interests and opinions of the rest. <clears throat> that is how democracies fail. Most democracies do fail. And when they fail, they are almost always replaced by more or less authoritarian regimes. Democracy is an outstanding form of government for a free people, but it is also extraordinarily fragile. A free society comprises millions of individuals and groups with conflicting opinions and conflicting interests. In the nature of things, they are never going to agree about all that many things, and they are likely to disagree about some things of fundamental importance. The first task of any political system is to accommodate our differences and our interests so that we can continue to live together in a single political community without the systematic application of coercion. This is why the survival of any democracy depends on a culture of restraint. It depends on a general recognition that pushing the power of majorities too far is corrosive and fractures any political system, democracies most of all. In other words, it depends on a culture in which we all recognize that we cannot have everything that we want, however desirable and however morally right we may think it is, and even if there is majority support for it. Citizens' assemblies have been suggested as a way in which individuals can contribute to public decision-making directly through their deliberations and not just indirectly through the ballot box. It will only work if those who participate realize that they are not simply giving voice to their own preferences. Their conclusions have to be recognized as legitimate exercises of public power, even by those who disagree with them. That is a formidable challenge.